three members of the extensive Bin Laden family, Osama's stepmother, half-sister, and her husband suspiciously died in a plane crash on Friday. The Saudi-owned Embraer Phenom 300 private jet crashed into a British car auction lot on the edge of the Blackbush Airport in Hampshire, England, wiping out roughly 30 cars and killing everyone on board, including the Jordanian pilot. A pilot who frequently uses the airstrip questions the probability of the crash. Simon Moores said a plane of that caliber would be equipped with top-of-the-range safety functions, which should have worked to prevent the crash. He explained that the airplane, which traveled to the UK from Milan, only needs around 800 meters to land, but overshot the Blackbush airstrip measuring 1,300 meters. Moores said, why? If the pilot thought his angle was completely wrong, which is what happened in this case, why didn't he power up the engines to simply go around and try again? King Salman of Saudi Arabia offered his condolences to the Bin Laden family and then cut short his controversial planned three-week vacation on the French Riviera as his entourage of a thousand vacated the public beach they had sealed off, causing an uproar in France that produced a petition signed by 100,000 people against the closure of the public beach. Rescue workers pushed people away from the scene. We are walking back to the building about to blow up. Since the early days after the September 11th attacks, when the news emerged that most of the airline hijackers came from Saudi Arabia, dark allegations have lingered about official Saudi ties to the terrorists. Fueling the suspicions, 28 still classified pages in a congressional inquiry on 9-11 that raised questions about Saudi financial support to the hijackers and the United States prior to the attacks. Both the administrations of George W. Bush and Barack Obama have refused to declassify the pages on grounds of national security. But critics, including members of Congress who have read the pages in the tightly guarded underground room in the Capitol where they are held, say national security has nothing to do with it. U.S. officials, they charge, are trying to hide the double game that Saudi Arabia has long played with Washington as both a close ally and petri dish for the world's most toxic brand of Islamic extremism. President Bush, he is the one that when they came out with a 9-11 report, hit the administration reviewed it, and the Bush administration said, no, the 28 pages in this report must be classified. I have read the classified pages, and many of my colleagues have as well, the 28 pages. There is nothing, Alex, in here about national security. If it was, I would not be on your show. I would not introduce this resolution with two other members of the House. What we're asking people around this country, think about the pain of the 9-11 families, and think about you, the American citizen. Don't you have a right to know the truth about who was behind 9-11? Back in 1988, Osama's older brother, Salam bin Laden, died in a plane crash in San Antonio, plummeting into power lines after the aircraft he was piloting tilted forward. Salam had been the patriarch of the bin Laden family empire after his father's death, and may have been too big an obstacle for Osama's future plans that would later become the catalyst the globalists required to slowly dissolve American liberties. John Bound for Infowars.com.